Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Liberal narrative shattered after photos show what was really happening during March. Saturday's March for Our Lives was a massive astroturfed appeal to emotion that every media outlet, especially those that lean to the left, got caught up in. Take this opening graph from Reuters, supposedly a stone sober wire news outlet that provides the barest facts. Chanting never again, hundreds of thousands of young Americans and their supporters answered a call to action from survivors of last month's Florida high school massacre and rallied across the United States on Saturday to demand tighter gun laws, the story read. Answered a call. Rallied. Call to action. This would normally pass as something on Vox. However, even the earnest folks at Reuters couldn't help but be swept away by some of the biggest U.S. youth demonstrations for decades at which demonstrators jammed Washington's Pennsylvania Avenue where they listened to speeches from survivors of the February 14 mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Several, I noticed, were left unmentioned in the story. For instance, the fact that every town for gun safety, a massive astroturf gun control group started by former NYC Mayor Michael Bloomberg was one of the primary movers behind the event, along with other equally astroturfed gun-grabbing organizations. Or that celebrities and others helped sponsor protesters being bussed in from communities impacted by gun violence, all courtesy of MTV. Perhaps the most conspicuous thing missing, however, was that the whole thing was guarded by people with guns. And military vehicles. And the police. Of course. The event likely deserved this kind of security. After all, it was likely a target for some sort of unbalanced individual who wanted to make a statement to the left, or to the right, or to Jodie Foster. And they certainly didn't need to use a gun to make said point. The lesson here is that this is all pretty much confirmation of one of the most derided arguments on the left, good people with guns are very effective at stopping bad people with guns. While this is an oversimplification about larger arguments involving gun-free zones, concealed carry, open carry, background checks, the effect of gun control policy on legally acting citizens, the ease of obtaining illegal firearms on the black market, etc., it does boil down to a basic truism about guns and how they are used. Nobody at the march, I think, felt less secure because there were trained individuals with firearms at the event, or that military-grade equipment was present to keep them safe. Yet, for all of the vehemence we heard from the rostrum on Sunday, I didn't hear any of the newly minted student luminaries take the stage and speak out in favor of President Trump's suggestion that certain teachers should be trained and allowed to conceal carry on school premises in order to deter potential shooters, or that the best solution to school violence is to make campuses more secure. Then again, maybe I just missed it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.